The following is a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about them, Cowboys? Yeah! This is Campin' Out, broadcasting live from Dallas Cowboys Training Camp on DallasCowboys.com and the official Dallas Cowboys app. And now your host, Shannon Gross. Welcome to Campin' Out, live from Oxnard, California. Shannon Gross, Nate Newton, and we have a very special guest. Thank you, American Airlines, for letting us ride the airwaves and bring this to you uh, from beautiful beautiful weather out here in california and man do we have a treat for you we had we had your uh your number one draft pick on the show yesterday Nate. yes yes today we, we have my number one draft pick <laughs> the guy that that has just jumped out at me this training camp and i'm so glad that he's healthy and on the show with us tj vasher what's up tj thank you thank you thank yeah, you man Thank you. How you doing? I'm doing good. How are y'all? Oh, great, man. How's, how does it feel? How did the pads feel today? Oh, it felt good. It's been a long time, uh, but it felt good to get back out there and hear them clapping around a little bit. Yeah. Did, yes, sir. Did you get to did you get to hit anybody or? Oh yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, some you know, them DBs kind of heavy. You know, JK kind of <laughs> heavy back there. He so too. He, yeah. he kind of heavy. He's a load. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's one of the few guys that's probably rangy as you are on the mm-hmm. team, right? So yes, how sir. tall are you right quick? Like, cause I, I know I'm not going to get anything in with Shannon Love you, Wade. <laughs> how tall are you? How, tell us a little bit about you, your size, your, how you got here. Uh, I'm 6'5". I'm well, as far as I've, I've always been measured out, 6'5", maybe pushing 6'6 six, six in the cleats, right. something like that. Yes, sir. Hey, hit so tell us where you're from. Tell us what you're about. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm from Wichita Falls, Texas, about two hours north of Dallas. Um, small, smaller town. Uh, went to Wichita Falls, Ryder. Uh, was a dual sport athlete, played basketball. Dual sport? What you did? You did a high jump? Oh, uh, no, I was basketball. Basketball. You, you big got time game. basketball. Big time basketball. Well, give me some of your stats back in high school. Uh, I think uh, senior year, I averaged 19.8, 10 rebounds, and six assists. 6.8 assists a game. And so, was your guard? Was yeah. your magic light? Top top twenty <laughs> top twenty point guard in the state of Texas. Oh, no, no. Look out, no. Yeah. I hear you, man. Shannon. Yeah. This guy told me he had a major injury, and I want you to tell the people. Last year, he's a second-year guy. Really, we saying he's a first-year guy, mm-hmm. but he had a major injury. Kind of tell him what that injury was last year, TJ. Oh uh, yeah, I had uh, I tore my meniscus. Uh, it was a posterior horn root evolution. I don't know if I'm saying that word correctly, but right. I don't either. That that's what that's <laughs> what it was. Uh, senior year coming out of tech, um, I did it against Oklahoma State. It was like. Right around Thanksgiving time, oh, wow! Uh, they told me I was going to need surgery, and that was going to be it for me for the year. Um, it, that ended up taking my recovery all the way through training, through the draft process. Uh, really wasn't able to do too much training on my legs. Um, so it was a long, like, grueling process, you know, healing, trying to get back. Uh, you know, and then the draft came. Uh, Dallas took a chance on me, bringing me in undrafted. Uh, and they, they gave me the chance to come in and just work on getting my body back, you know, healed correctly and then uh, give me my chance this year to Did come out and get Did you attend a, a major university? Texas Tech. Texas Tech. Is that is that a major university? Stop, oh, Nate. Stop, stop, I'm just asking. That's, that's Big 12. Oh, that's Big 12. That's, 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 that's Michael Nate. Crabtree. That's, that's history. Michael, I mean, Crabtree. I mean, that's Nate, crowd. Uh, Nate, Nate, I mean, it, it's not Florida A&M. I mean, it ain't that's that big time I mean, like you. But. Bro, bro, I'm going to put bail on him. I'm put, yeah, you knocked my boy Bell out of the show today, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, I, it was supposed to be you and Bell. And he didn't even give me a chance to even I did, debate. I didn't even ask Nate. He didn't be like, hey, man, I got no, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm glad to have you, man. Yes, sir. I appreciate see, it. Because my kids were raised in Texas. So I tell folks, now I'm a Texas man uh-huh. all the way. And, that's, and I, I love the team because Texas Tech, Texas A&M, University of Texas, SMU, I love all of these schools because I've been here so long and I've seen all of them cherish, man. I mean, and for you to be here, man, that just give us a little bit more to push for. You know, a mm-hmm. Texas kid can make this team. And, I mean, I know you're looking on making this team. That's yeah. the only way you see it, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. And you played a couple of games at AT&T Stadium at Texas Tech against Baylor, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Baylor Baylor was that, that home away game that we had for a few years at AT&T. Did you used to get out against them pretty good? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> King, Kingsbury was going to dial it up out there. We, we, had, we had fun. We had fun in AT&T. Chris right. is a big Baylor fan. He's a That's big Baylor fan. He ain't going to say not. much, man. He ain't going <laughs> to say much. <laughs> hey, my money. I got family out there, too. Hey, so my money and my up, wife man. went to Baylor. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay, I hear you, so. bro. 
Hey, wow. Hey, Coach, up, how you coach? doing? Coach, good to see you, man. <laughs> yeah. So, Nate, did you know that – That's Coach that, McCarthy for anybody. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to put the big one the on when he coach. come by, yeah. <laughs> TJ is one of the only players in Texas history to be a first-team All-State in both football and basketball in Class 5A. Class 5A? Yes, sir. You was like that. I'm telling you. <laughs> Why you can't tell me? Let me get him. Nate, why you can't hold, on, hold on a second. You man. have done nothing but dominate. <laughs> okay, this okay. Show. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> hey, my God. You're, you're, you're not even asking you're questions. Right. You said just talk. Yeah, yeah ask questions. Okay. Go ahead. Go oh, sorry, Shadow. Go ahead, Nate. Go ahead. Hey. I'm just kidding. You? I'm going to jump in. <laughs> <laughs> Walk me through the catch. Was it day before yesterday, Saturday? Mm -hmm. Yes. Where you climbed the ladder? Or no, that was. Maybe Friday. Uh, it's Friday. Up in the corner of the end. My zone. days have been running Mine together. Too. So it's all the same. Um, Walk what, me through that. What was that? Who did you? Who did you? Who did you dog out on that? One? Who did you <laughs> climb on top of? It, it was one of my teammates, but I mean, we were just <laughs> we were right. just battling. That's all that is, yeah. you right. know. Uh, uh, but it was uh, coming towards the end. We were down in the red zone. Um, we were. I think we were in a situation where you know it was ball to be up, come out, come out, and come down fast. So right. uh, I, I had a fade and. Um, I knew I was going to get a quick jam immediately. Mm -hmm. uh, he was trying to go throw me off my route. Uh, so I was just kind of trying to be most prepared for that off the ball. Uh, and once that happened, you know, and I got on top, it was just time to go make a play. Yeah. Uh, I really wasn't thinking too much about the DB. It was just time for me to go do it. I do best. And I just went up and, and made a play, attacked the ball and made a play. So is that your game? Is that is that what you excel at is just – Going like fade routes and going up and getting the ball. I feel like attacking the ball is is what I do best, you know. And that's uh, in all routes. All routes. It, because I noticed you said you you, you lost. So what you saying is once you get into your routes, once you defeat that first initial contact, you you be focused like a dude with a snipe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Call of Duty. Do you play that game, Call of Duty? Uh, sometimes I, I okay. play more Fortnite than I do Call of Duty. To be okay. honest, I All play right. a little bit more Fortnite right now. Fortnite guy. All I'm right. turning back over to yeah, you, Shit. We're, we're gonna we'll figure something <laughs> out to do with Fortnite. Nate is amazed by like video games. Me mm -hmm. and Chris play Call of Duty. I don't Duty. play not a lick up, but I'd be amazed. He just wants to watch. Like, he just wants <laughs> to watch. So he brings up sniping and, shit <laughs> and all this stuff. He has no idea what he's talking about. So. Wow. What up? What's different this year? You were out here last year, right? Mm -hmm. Just kind of watched, walked through. What's different? Is there a different vibe this year? What's the locker room like this year? Um, I wouldn't say too too much is different. You know, coming out here, that the energy level is always high. People are ready to get out and get back active again. And of course, you know, it's getting close to that time of, you know, it being real football again. And I think I think the energy level is always high, and it's 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 fun to be out here in Oxnard and some good weather around a lot of good people, uh, energy with the crowd, you know, and everyone starts to feed into that, and I think it just ramps everything up going into preseason. Yeah. The the question I have here is, you know, I'm an old head, and I'm not. Yeah, I, I, ain't, I ain't all about that that, that continuous hitting, mm -hmm. but. Is it easier for you coming from college, and now we going into this like? Four days to ramp up, then the, the lack of pads. Is that is that easier coming out of college and just going right into this type of style or, or just the hitting? It? What what are you looking for? Here? Yeah, I think it's a little bit better. I mean, I think I think I look forward to it. I feel like right. college may be a little bit more physically um, abusing uh, okay. through the week, you know. Okay. But I, I feel like uh, here at the next level, they do a better job of you know watching you and take care of your bodies uh, through the week. I, I, I can attest to that. Okay. All right. What are your What are your hobbies, man? Like, what do you like to do in the off season or in your downtime? Uh, my downtime, I'm I'm probably with my brother um, most of the time. I'm with him. He stay down the street from me. Uh, we may sit on the game and play Call of Duty or, or Fortnite or Madden right. or 2K or whatever it may be. Or I may sit on Netflix. You know, Netflix is, is it's jumping. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm a <laughs> yeah. Big show, show guy. If I find me a good series to watch, I'll, right. I'll sit so still. So I need this info uh -huh. for the plane ride back. And you know, we're going to LA and we're going to Denver. I need some some plane and train material. What What are your shows that you're watching right now? Uh, one of my favorites is a uh, Shooter Shooter with Bob Lee Swagger. Man. Oh man, talk about it, bro. That talk go crazy. Talk about it. Oh, that go crazy. I watch that thing every day. Is that the one that Omar's in? Shooter? No, 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 no. We talking about so. okay. no, Bob Lee Swagger, different dude, man. Okay, that's on yeah. Netflix. Yeah. Yes. Okay. What else? Um, Blacklist is another I, good one. I man, I got like three episodes. I ain't in. seen Blacklist. What? Like it. Oh my weird. goodness. Yeah. It's weird. 
The one, w- the one where the dude turned into the pig or whatever. No, uh, blacklist. Blacklist is about a a guy who like he comes and turns himself in. Uh, he's like oh, the world's most I'm wanted criminal. Mirror. I gotta go and look at that. He ends up like working inside the FBI, and it's this whole crazy story. Okay. Like it's like eight eight seasons long, maybe. Okay, all right. Your okay. boy that owns the burger place over there by us, the 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 uh, Wahlberg. That's who plays Shooter. Yes, oh, that's Shooter. Okay. Yeah. Mark and he, his name is Bob Lee Swagger. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. That's what Come I, on. I, I, you I know see, what I see now? Hey, if, I see where you're going if, here. <laughs> hey, if this was old, if this was old Baylor guy, uh-huh. he would have said, yeah, he would have gave us a star <laughs> right away. No, but we got to no, drag it out of him, man. No, his money and his no. wife goes to Baylor. <laughs> <laughs> did, you watch, yeah. uh, did you watch Reacher? Reacher. I haven't seen that Oh, one. Reacher. That's good. You got to go get on Prime. It's on, it's on That's Prime. on Netflix? I, yeah. On Prime? I'm Prime. Yeah. I just Prime, finished, man. I, uh, the Terminal List, is, I, I just finished I that. watched that. That's a little – man. Man, that's, that's a, a good one, though. Yeah. What else you jump off on, man? Um, what else? Uh, I know Blacklist, Shooter. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Um, what's the what's the show with the doctors? It's, uh, to me, it's one of the – House? F- no. no, not House. With uh, Meredith Grey. Oh, uh, Grey's Anatomy. Yeah. Grey's Anatomy, Grey's Anatomy yeah. is like one. That. Yes. Like Grey's Anatomy is one of the greatest shows that's ever been put on TV to oh me. I hear you, man. Honestly, wow. honestly. I don't, I don't wow. know what other show has that many seasons. I feel like there's a reason why. Well, I know a show got more seasons than that, but what it's, show? it's before you were born. Oh, yeah. A Gunsmoke. <laughs> <laughs> My dad didn't talk to me about that one, though. My dad didn't talk to me about that yeah. one. Bonanza. From 1955 to 1975, it ran. Bonanza, Gunsmoke, yeah. Mash, yeah. all yeah. that stuff. But, man. I, I'm excited to have, but Shannon, Shannon, you picked a pretty good dude here, man. Mm, I'm, I'm, I'm watching you, man. I, I saw I you after the first couple of days. I was like, all right, TJ. Well, you got my attention last year when you, you just, you jumped over a blocking dummy. Yeah, man. Flat footed. I think footed. everybody did. And and me and Chris and like, I think one other guy were standing there. We like, we just looked at each other like, did you just see like what just happened? Like, <laughs> like what's your vertical? Um, I don't know exactly. Uh, I think. Testing out of the – I think I did it, uh, like, for the combine. Uh-huh. Um, I don't remember exactly what the numbers were, but I, I know, like, a healthy me was kills those numbers. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Jump out of the gym, man. That, crazy. So crazy. What's your demeanor around your teammates? Are you outgoing, messing with everybody? Are you just kind of laid back doing your own thing? Uh, I feel like I'm, I'm kind of laid back. Um, I feel like I'm, I'm one of the guys that's probably easier to talk to. Um, I don't – really walk around like you know shut off or i right. probably don't either at the same time try to be too much in people's face but right i just try to be me uh and let let, let people be accepting of that you know right keep it moving that way all right man well you got to get out of here we know you thank you go very eat. much yes sir man. i appreciate y'all so, man, appreciate thank you appreciate very you much man. Show, man yes sir you come on anytime we'll ha- hey we're gonna get you when you make the team. We're gonna get you back in the studio when we get back to Dallas. Deal. Right? I appreciate Does that. that. Work? Yes, sir. Right, we'll Sick my boy Bell on. on you, man. <laughs> ah, he a dog though. He a dog. Okay. Dog. All right, we're gonna take oh, a quick man. break and we'll be back. Talk he a took my boy Bell. First play. Day pads. <laughs> wow. Special guest. Thank you, TJ. <laughs> Thank TJ you, Max for joining y'all. the show. We'll be right back on Camping Out. Star Sports Tours is the only official fan travel partner of the Dallas Cowboys, offering exclusive game weekend travel packages with pre-game sideline access and photo ops with current players, cheerleaders, and cowboy legends. You want to stay at a team hotel, attend the best tailgate party in Texas, tour the star, and talk X's and O's with me, Everson Walls? With Star Sports Tours, you can. Visit CowboysTravel.com to book your travel package today. Brace yourself for an existential question. Has your butt been having enough fun lately? Have you been treating it well? Has it been going places? If not, then it's about time you start using SeatGeek. SeatGeek is the best way to get your butt tickets to live events. Just ask the thousands of other butts who have rated it the number one ticketing app. So what are you waiting for? Download the app now or visit SeatGeek.com to get tickets to sports, concerts, and live events and make your butt happy. SeatGeek, get your seat in a seat. The Cowboys way, where 16 Hall of Famers and five championships shows us what success looks like where turkey is always the second best part of Thanksgiving Day, where we are all defined by one single thing, the star, where we as fans know it's our job to keep the tradition going. Bank of America is proud to be the official bank of the Dallas Cowboys and to support the quest of living life the Cowboys way. 
Copyright 2020, Bank of America Corporation. Attention Cowboys fans looking for the best shave of your life. There's a new official razor of the Dallas Cowboys, Shave Logic. Imagine not having to buy blades as often and getting more smooth shaves than your old razor, guaranteed or your money back. After more than 10 years of research and over 150 company patents, ShaveLogic is proud to offer Cowboys fans a special offer. For a limited time, visit ShaveLogic.com and get a free $10 gift card with your purchase. Go to ShaveLogic.com now for more smooth shaves guaranteed. Back to Camp It Out. Welcome back to Camp It Out. Shannon Gross, Nate Newton, live from Oxnard, California, where we just had my pet cat for this training camp, TJ Vasher, on the show. That's a tall, lean dude, man. 6'6", 210 is what they got him listed at. So today, Nate, first day in pads. I was a little disappointed because they didn't have our favorite drill, O-line, D-line, yeah, yeah. one-on-one. They, they, they didn't run that. That's usually where you see – that's when the dogs come out. That's yes. when it gets a little testy, a little heated. They didn't run those drills today. They did do a lot in the team period, though. Offense looked really good, man. I think the offense they, the offense they, got on the defense a little the, bit. Today. Pass-wise, yes. Uh, a lot of the blocking was was uh, shoddy. Yeah, a little sloppy. You know, but I, I, I tell you, the inside combo run where they came, did half line, I'm going to tell you something, man. Carlos Watkins, Dante Fowler. And Tristan Hill offensively looked look nice. They were down in that combo where we just a set. They knew it was all run. They they looked nice. A lot man. of a lot of offensive linemen on the ground. Yeah, man. yeah. They didn't finish well. They yeah. didn't did not finish well. Uh, uh, Seventy three struggled, which is Tyler. Uh, uh, so uh, they had ball running with what? Sixty three. Our center he struggled. A, a little bit, you know, and, and I, because that is a defensive drill. Mm-hmm. De- if you want to look good and you want to take a, time, a chance to shine, you could do it there. But now, when it came to Tyron, nobody could get Tyron. When it came to our right guard, Martin, nobody could get him. You know, but then as it went on, our offense started started going. Now, out of about 25 run plays, uh, uh, it's, our offense maybe had maybe five or six times where they blocked everybody, got somebody, not perfect blocks, but everybody got on somebody. You saw Tony make a burst. You saw Zeke make a burst. Mm-hmm. But it, it it went like we it should have went. Defense should have dominated. They dominated. Now, pass-wise, Dak and his receivers were on target, mm-hmm. especially him and C.D. Lamb. Yeah. It, it, was, it was some nice stuff. I saw T.J. catch a, a nice pass. Uh Number 14, I can, uh, let me look, let me, uh, just say number 14. Five for goal. Yeah, he had a nice pass. That's the guy that asked you out in the parking lot earlier. Yeah. How he was looking. You were yeah. like, who? Yeah, <laughs> he, 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 he looked it nice. So, it was some guys. Now, practice, uh, it went like a first day should and pass. Defense look like they've been together for two years now, which they are going on two years, and like a young offense that struggled. Uh, I would like to say this right here. Doing the team, normal down and distance. Mm-hmm. I saw Tyler Smith pick up Tristan Hill and dump him on his Did he back. Really? Oh, I mean, I thought I, I, I thought I didn't see it. You know, and I talked to a few other people. They like, you saw what you saw, and they say this is the kid that we need to. St-. He's he's a lot. He's hesitant, and I guess that just come with being new. And trying to figure out because the other the other offensive linemen a lot of times are moving and he'll step slower. Mm-hmm. So even and they say he's smart, it's like but he's just hesitant right now. So I'm I'm looking for this guy to really pick his game up. But number ninety one, Carlos Watkins, was all over the place. Fifty six, Dante Fowler destroyed guys in the combo run mm-hmm. and he made some hell of a uh uh, wreckage in the backfield during the t- normal down and distance, and number fifty-four. That's your guy, isn't it? Ooh, Sam that dude, Williams. man, that dude. I, he knifed in there one time, made the made Pollard jump out. He was trying to get into the uh, B or C gap. He made Pollard jump out, and uh, then he turned and caught him on an angle. I, I'm gonna tell you something. I, I'm not one of them guys that say just because the dude having a great camp, he'll be a great player. But so far. So good. 
Good. Yes, sir. Did did I see uh, Josh Ball? Was he was he in there with the ones? And he kept ones and twos. That's a, thank you. He got left, better as left, practice went on. Left yes, tackle, right? Left tackle. He got better and better as practice went on. He got better and better as practice went on. Yes, sir. Shannon Goodman. He got better and better. And uh, it, it, it's just good to see. And I knew it wasn't going to be no uh, sharp, crisp. But, you know, because Will, Will didn't like our normal down the distance. Will uh, McClay, our pro personnel guy who's over everything, Oh, he just was ranting and raving up down the sideline because I like Will. You knew it was gonna be like this. He looked like, he looked like a disappointed father. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He wanted. He's like he wanted everybody too high, to be a little bit shoppy. The worst was to do by this. Yeah. There's limited time of practice. practice yeah, and, yeah. So the pad pad levels were too high. Yeah, but, both offense and defense. Like he was he was hating that. But coach, all practice long, you was down there. Coach I was standing right next. Coach to was telling them though, all practice, get your pad level down, stay down low. Mm -hmm. I mean, unless you, unless you just go up under that machine, they got a machine out there where they, unless they just do that over half the practice, you're gonna get that. You got to just keep preaching to guys, yeah. stay down, stay down, stay down. CD Lamb looked nice today, but go yeah, ahead on. Yo, no, what did you see today? CD had some good catches. I saw what you saw. Uh, yeah, I think the the. The passing game, I think the offense edged out the defense. Um, you got you, James Washington went went down in yeah. the beginning of practice. Not real sure. He did. I didn't. I didn't see that. Yeah, yeah he like went a, down like an ankle, maybe ankle lower leg, foot, something yeah. like that. Right. Uh, wow. We can't lose him. Don't know what's going on with him. Uh, J.K. Uh, Jerron Curse. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he left practice with a look like an ankle or something, but mm -hmm. he he came back out probably ten minutes later. So finished out practice. Um, yeah, just I, I, the receivers look good. Yes. You know, I, I didn't see – I didn't watch Micah a lot. I didn't really pay attention there. But <clears> I was looking at – how who was getting the second team reps at quarterback? Was it a combination I, 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 of Greer I, and – No, and I did. I, I know it was Cooper? number 10 and a number – yeah, 15. Cooper Cooper Rush. Cooper Number Rush. 10 got a lot of snaps. Yeah. He got the la uh, Rush got the last two with the ones. Yeah. So Dak got pulled out of the last two reps with the ones. So it's yeah, it's been a, it's been a combination yeah. of it's going to be interesting to see who gets that second yeah. spot because they they messed around with Greer in there. They mm -hmm. they they run some stuff with Cooper in there. We know they like Cooper. He's dependable. He's been yeah. here for a while. Yeah. So it's going to be interesting to see how how that that plays out. But I mean, we know this team goes as Dak goes. So, you know. I'm, I'm going to tell you this right here, man. Tomorrow we'll be out here and pass again. And, uh, we, you, you know, you expect. Oh, they, they thumping it up again tomorrow? I, I, I didn't ain't, know that. Yeah. And it's two, yeah, yeah. two yeah. days. So, next two Sweet. days. And then Wednesday and will be a, a – Off day. A, like a, it's a the walkthrough. Or yeah. Whatever. It's a mock game. Okay. Yeah. yeah so. All right. Yeah, the the one the one meeting I probably would not want to be in is probably the offensive line today. Yeah, yeah. Philbin's gonna have a heck. It was of a sloppy, man. Co it Co was. There was one the, time where the I think the th ball three times in a row. Three times yep. in a row. Yeah, they from, switched out the center and from, it's still from center went on the to ground. quarterback. And coach was like, "Do it again until you do get it, it right." Yeah. But I think Chris had the right. Chris, give us your analogy on how you talk. I don't know. That I, I'm I'm a little I get a little closer than than right. most people, but with my camera, but. Uh, I thought the I thought the, uh, the the quarterback was kind of not helping him out. I thought his hands were going were opening up to like when he hit the hands, the hands were just like this. Because hmm. even so, the one he got after the third one, his like, hands it was still, like it was yeah. like it was like off of it. Right. So because Lindstrom came in, the rookie out of Boston College, who's and and it's so funny because Nate's sitting there and he's like. He's snapping that left handed. That looks kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, he's, it a did. Left, he's a left handed. Center. Yeah, left handed wow. center. So. And, that's the and then first when he thing snapped it back, then you saw the ball go like yeah, this. Yeah, I was like, oh, yeah, okay. Wow. Yeah, so the centers had a, not a good day today. Yeah, wow. It's just – It's just the, the early things. Yes, yes. That's know? why you have training camp, right? That's Get right. it out of the way now. Yep. And so tomorrow, you know, but the only thing that hurts as, as an offensive player is usually by the third day the offense start catching up. Mm -hmm. But they'll be off. They'll be walking through yeah. instead yeah, of third physical. Day. So Thursday they'll be back. Am I right, Chris? Thursday Some? will be – yeah, so tomorrow and then Thursday will be another full pattern. Yeah. Practice, Thursday and Friday. So they go no pads first week, and then and then they get after it. Then they, they go two, they, uh, walk through, two, and then a walk through. Yeah. I mean, it. but the one thing I keep preaching is it's 32 teams mm -hmm. doing the same thing. Now, they may be spreading out their hitting days. Whereas we got ours bunched two, then off, then two, 
You know what I'm saying? You get with so many at, what, 10, 8, 10 padded practices where you can get after it. So it just depends on how you want to do it. And it, But the league has been consistent in how many times these guys put on pads. And I'm glad they're doing it across the board. Nobody has the advantage. Yeah. All right. Well, you know what? Let's go eat, Nate. Yes, sir. Now, I know. Short, let, let me say this right quick. Like, thank you, American Airlines. My wife for getting ready to get on the flight at, at 4. Yeah, 4 o'clock this afternoon. It's this specific time. Mm-hmm. And uh, take care of my baby, American Airlines. She's <laughs> hey, in first hey, class. Real quick. Yeah. Six pra- padded practices before we practice against Denver. Six. Six. Six padded One practices. in the books, five more to go. Yeah. Before we, play, we practice against Denver. All right. Yeah, when we go to Denver, man, I hope that I won't be to that. You'll be to that. So I need you to give us firsthand. Will do, man. Yeah. Will do. Well, thank you for joining us. Uh, thanks to all of you that have been out here at camp that have let us know you listen to the show. We appreciate you listening. Sorry that we waste a hour of your lives. Mm-mm, no, man. Back home. Th- not this show's great. Uh, the okay. one we were on back home, hanging with oh. the boys. That was, that was terrible. <laughs> but thank you for bearing with us. Thank you for bearing with me and Nate today. Thank you, American Airlines, for allowing us to do this from training camp. Thank you to TJ Vasher for joining the show. Chris, thank you for keeping the uh, – keeping the program going uh willie thank you thank you willie keeping the live streams up <laughs> and uh nate thank you for thank bringing you, the bro. energy and we will do this again tomorrow tune in to see who our special guest is tomorrow we'll have another player on tomorrow we don't know who it is yet but they ran off my boy bell i hope they ain't hurt his feelings we'll figure that we'll figure <laughs> that out tomorrow back same time probably probably the same time ish yes uh, same place for sure shannon gross nate newton chris beam William Boykins, thank you all for listening. We'll be back tomorrow on Camping Out. Camping Out. This has been a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about this, Cowboys?